one. Hi, I'm Kim. And I'm Corbett with Cold Water Strong. Tonight we're going to be introducing the sandbag sinker from Cold Water Strong. But before we get into the details with Corbett and how to use this, I want to explain a little bit on some of the quality products that actually goes into the making of the sandbag. One is the stainless steel pin and the marine grade bungee that actually wraps around the fabric onto there uh, that is also hog ring and so and float so after you hook the fish and it deploys the sand out to help bring this back this bag right up to the surface so we'll just get get right into this and Corbett show us how what the fishermen would expect with this out there yeah so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay it flat down on the beach or wherever you're fishing and you're going to want to open it up and tonight we're using rice for an example but you're going to want to scoop your material in once you have about eight to ten pounds the sand yeah you're going to want to shake it move it towards the mm -hmm. bottom kind of make this nice ball and then you're going to want to take your pin lay it on one side and wrap your marine grade so so you want to twist this like this here yeah. Corbett, and then what you want to do there is wrap your marine grade bungee around and put it over the the pin so it okay. wraps in place like that okay you're going to want to also squeeze it down tight down and move it down towards the sand so you have a nice handle to hold on to when you're deploying it okay from a boat or a kayak okay also what you're going to want to do is then clip on your cold water strong bank leaders bank there. leader system right here to your swivel okay and when that deploys we're going to show you how, that how it pulls out in slow motion we're just going to pull it nice and slow like that and then that's when the sand comes out and, and this gonna, dumps upside down like that yep and then you're just going to be fighting just the fish and little very little tension and no weight on, the, so on the sandbag now we're going to show them how how we use our pull string tester. We're going to show you how, All right. what it pulls at. Okay. So um, that was a major concern because sometimes when they're using the rubber inner tube, this would get stuck. Yeah. A lot of people would, you know, lose their whole system or get stuck up on the bottom and then have to pull it all in by hand. So we're going to use a trigger puller here and it's set all the way to 10 pounds, but we're going to go ahead and demonstrate and pull on this and see what his poundage is. And we're going to do it really nice, slow and nice watch and slow. the scale. And that pulled right at eight pounds. Eight pounds. So it's going to vary, guys, from eight to ten pounds, depending. So even in the situation where this is deployed down at 40, 35 30. feet of water, it, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. But, yeah, this is uh, it comes out pretty easy. So Corbett, tell us a little bit about the cold water strong and, and what would you use actually, you know, hooking up this float system to there that is also hooked up to the uh, sandbag? So a lot, what a lot of people do generally is they're gonna be using wobblers and they're gonna be using floats to help suspend it. So that's why we came out with our different size leaders. We have a 48 and 60 inch. Mm -hmm floats and then you would attach your wobbler a lot of guys do quick fish a lot mm -hmm. of people do super baits whichever bait that you feel most comfortable with or whatever one else is having mm -hmm. more success with and and you know keep in mind guys um this spread on here is 3.5 by 10 by 10 so that's 24 feet of water column that we're concentrating in the zone there to catch chinook with any array of of of, of hardware on there yeah. and stuff like that so that's neat so what is the other product that we're going to be introduced again for this year we're going to be introducing our sockeye and steelhead bank leader systems wow. these are great for fishing spin glows off the bank so um, here we got a spin glow right here that corbin tied up earlier and we have go ahead and hold on to that we yeah. have a leader right here well, this is our sockeye leader system with two connection point so you're going to be able to cast this you're going to want to clip on your top and bottom spin and glow onto the leader that we, leader here mm -hmm. and um so, so you're gonna you're gonna be having one leader here and then and then one more leader here mm -hmm. so this is castable yep so these ones here are 
five foot in length so there wouldn't be any problem you know when people are on the bank and they can actually use a weight on the bottom and we're just it. for example we're just using a triangle weight with the mm -hmm. claws on it but there you go stretch that out a little bit there and there you go you have two systems right there so, so this was designed so these when you cast it you know aren't they can flop and fly yes and they aren't going to get tangled together um so first, right here on the on the on the joints right here we have a little bit where it actually goes all the way around um uh, this is a sleeve with a swivel that goes all the way around so when you do cast it it actually goes all the way around and it's not fixed in one area that that you would buy the commercial ones and they have that piece of metal in there and, and stuff but this one is actually free so it mm -hmm. actually goes on to there okay so our sockeye one is a two liter system but our steelhead one is three and this is going to be good for running out with a kayak or even a mm -hmm. boat and so you're going to be able to run three different lures or spinning glows at the same time which makes it a lot more efficient mm -hmm. um, really getting dialed in but people are probably wondering right now what are the spreads on this yeah. so right now with the sockeye leader this is three and a half feet right here plus the inches for your main line <laughs> and and the spread in between this one on the steelhead one that's four and a half feet so you got three t's at four and a half feet spread mm -hmm. so you're covering good column of water for steelhead which right. most of the time we're fishing close to the bank anyway so you're not running it out out there using the salmon lines you know, generally you're fishing a ledge or yeah a drop off rate 10 to 40 feet out and so you're not going all I that see. far out with it well all these products are available on cold water strong um website if you want to know or purchase any of this uh it'll also be available at the local stores here so Corbett, thanks a lot for coming by and, and explaining to the, the folks out there about how the uses and all the different things that you use out there to catch yeah. uh, Chinook and Steelhead. Mm -hmm. And uh, check out the website and uh, see you out in the river. Thanks Thank a you. lot.